in an ideal world, everyone would have a great garden in their backyard, but not everyone has the space or the time. I feel like we provide a really valuable resource here, and people love it. My name is Kate Paul. Um, this is Owl Forest Farm. I started the farm when I moved back to the Iron Range in 2006. The growing area that I have itself is just over five acres. We have just about every vegetable you can think of that we can grow in zone three. The bees and I get to share the sunflower patch. We're getting to have a bigger selection of cut flowers, both annual as well as perennial. I'm able to um, sell them to wholesaler, you know, to florists at wholesale, and also use them in my bouquets and buckets. There, I save my arms a little bit by carrying them on my shoulders. <laughs> With this size farm, you have to be very diversified, I think, and, and try to have more than one market, definitely. My CSA customers, um, more than half of them come back every year, and, and most of my advertising is by word of mouth. So there's a demand for really good local food. You know, I sell wholesale too to the Natural Harvest and they've expanded their selection of local foods and where they get it from locally. There's a lot of people providing locally now there. One of our um, ends that we have that we, you know, why we're here is supporting our community. And part of that is just naturally to try and find people who produce things in our area and uh, be a marketplace for them. People um, know who these growers are. They can read their names on our um, tags. They know, um, oh, that's my neighbor, or you know, I know this person. I went to school with them. You know that kind of thing, and it just makes a whole different connection. They taste better. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to sit anywhere for weeks on end to be shipped. They don't travel thousands of miles. You can taste that. Oh, well, thanks for drawing that to my attention. We'll be picking beans. <laughs> People love fresh green beans, so, yeah. And that'll make everybody happy. The biggest lesson I've learned is it is way more work than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> and it's a little bit glamorous. I've had a few people tell me, oh, I wish I had a job like yours. I could be a farmer and be outside every day. And, and yeah, there's absolutely wonderful parts about it. I love being outside and I love working with the earth, but it is um, very hard physical labor and you have to be prepared for that. Now I get to eat a carrot. <laughs> As a farmer, we don't really have time for marketing during the growing season. Our time for marketing is during the winter. That's when we have the time to do that. And so we have to connect with the restaurants then and reach out at that time. And, you know, if someone isn't interested in, in doing that right away, by the time the growing season comes around and we actually have the produce to sell, we don't always have the time to make the phone calls and the connections and set things up. Running a restaurant is a really difficult thing. I would say it's as difficult as farming. It's a challenge. It's a hard business to be in. You know, you only have so much labor, you need to make things as easy as possible, and not everyone is willing to change their menu based on, you know, what is, what is coming in. The restaurant has to be willing to work with what we have when we have it and be flexible with that. When I went and got my, um, both my bachelor's and master's degree, I got them in biology because I wanted to be a field biologist and spend time outside. And so I started volunteering and working at a CSA farm and I started growing my own garden and learning more and more about that and, um, you know, absolutely loved it. And so when I moved back to the Iron Range, I knew exactly that that's what I was going to do. There we go.
not many people have the opportunity to be back on land that their great-grandfather homesteaded when he came from, you know, across the ocean. And it just seemed like a real natural thing to do, moving back and, and just starting my own business here, working off the land. <laughs>